like sometimes you are stacking up stacking up stacking up you have all these things that you are doing for other people and you are not taking that good care of yourself Aloha, 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 beautiful soul. I hope you relate to this. Welcome to Friday Inspirations. And I hope you relate to this. That like sometimes you are stacking up, stacking up, stacking up. You have all these things that you are doing for other people. And you are not taking that good care of yourself in that period and then at some point you are so totally overwhelmed that you just don't want to do anything anymore and then resistance is there towards all the appointments all the things that need to be done if you relate to this then i have a little exercise for you what i do i am a cyclic person so i have this like this sequence going on too you know you're not the only one and what i do is first i sit with the resistance i see in my body i just check on my body and every spot of my body where that resistance is and i'm there with my full attention it doesn't have to change i'm not going to send all my love to it at that point i am just giving it my awareness without judging it for being there because i am very aware that i was the one that was building up that resistance yeah so you were the one that was building up that resistance so it's not the fault of the resistance it was your fault i'm very sorry <laughs> so but when you just like for me resistance really gets into like my elbows and my knees and my hips and my ankles those are the places where i feel it the most and then i just sit with that for a moment i allow that resistance to be there and in general when i'm like silent enough which is not always i get messages from that resistance it starts talking to me and in the beginning i really had no clue what it was talking about but at some point i started understanding that like the resistance also sort of hates being there it also wants to be resolved and then i asked that resistance so what is there at this moment that i can give you and in general attention and love are very good tools to give to resistance at those moments so first you sit down you quiet yourself you go and check your body from toe to top or from top to toe whichever way works for you for me from toe to top works better because then when i start with my head my head goes everywhere but when i start with like focusing on my toes my head also calms down so seek your way uh, so scan your bed body from toe to top or from top to toe see where the resistance is allow the resistance to be there just be there with your full attention for a moment before you continue scanning your body and if possible see if the resistance wants to talk to you and if it does not or if you feel like oh my god i don't understand what it's saying then stop yeah because then you're making things more complicated so this is not an exercise about you doing a lot of things this is a, an exercise about you bringing back your focus to your body and then from there if the resistance talks to you or if it does not then you sit for a moment and you seek the love and the in your the love in your heart and the attention i always feel attention comes from my mind but maybe for you it is different so seek to give that spot that place of resistance the attention and the love that it needs at that moment 
and then you will find at some point when you practice it and maybe not the first time but when you practice this then you feel like it is resolving a little bit but your aim should not be that it is resolving do you understand the difference so your aim should be I just want to give it the attention that it's asking for and the result will be that it is resolving but if your aim is I want it to resolve then you are bringing up more resistance so you sit relaxed you breathe a moment so you get into real connection with yourself then you scan your body top to toe and each region or toe to top and each region where you feel that there's resistance or anything happening you just stop there for a moment you give it your attention you are there with your full awareness which is already not an easy exercise be aware and then from there if you can have a conversation with it then you do if that is messing you up and bringing you all to your head and to wanting to resolve things then you just sit there with all your attention and your love if possible and allow that resistance to be there and from there at some point you feel okay I can now go to the next zone so then you continue scanning your body upwards or downwards and then you go to the next region where you feel that resistance and when you have done this exercise you can go it really helps to do something that really that you really enjoy for me that is a walk like after I've done like a sitting exercise like this with all this crap that's going on inside of me and then after that I do something I really enjoy even though I do have appointments that I have to make but then I just tell them I will be later because there's things going on I want to take care of that now and you know you are never too late for an appointment the fact that we in especially in the Western countries we say the appointment is at two o'clock sharp too sharp you know but that's just fictive you know when you are ready at five past two then five past two was the best time to get to that appointment and not two o'clock because you were not open you were not ready you were not fully there so what sense does it have to be there sharp on time when you are not there it's just your body being there and for some people it works differently you know they have to be in that space to really get there so their body has to be there first before they are there well then it's very like logic to come on time you know so seek for you what is the way that works sending you much love no 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 that you are being loved for whomever you are for whatever you are going through I know life is not easy I'm with you Take good care, my darling. Bye-bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, beautiful soul. If there's anything I want you to take from these videos, then it is the permission for you to shine your light. It's the most important thing. So go ahead, shine your light. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>